Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about dividing polynomials. So if I was given this problem, 42x squared minus 33 divided by 7x plus 7, okay? Well, I'm going to rewrite this in a long division form. So I have my uh, divisor, my 7x plus 7 here, and that goes into my dividend. Now my dividend what I'm going to do this time, instead of putting a 0 in front of my x, I'm going to just give a space there. So I have 42 x squared, space for the plus of the x values, and then minus 33 over here. Okay? So it kind of spaced it out. So you'll see in a second why that's important. And sometimes I'll write a plus 0x there, because 0 times x0 zero just shows that there's an x value technically there. But you want to show all parts. Okay? And it's up to you how you want to do it. So I'm told you do a uh, plus 0x. So I'm dull, depends on the problem. But anyway, so what times 7x gives me 42x squared? And that's just a 6x. So I'm going to put that 6x where the x value would be. So 6x times 7x is a 42x squared. And then 6x times 7 is a uh, 42x. So we have plus 42x. We subtract them right here. And then remember, there's that, that 0 there. And uh, that 0... Okay, that's base value there, 0x. And if you want to write it, let's go right here. It makes it a little easier, actually. So plus 0x right there. So we subtract them. So we have 42x squared minus 42x squared. Eliminates, get 0. And then 0 minus 42x is a negative 42x. So I change my mind. 0x should go right there. It does look nicer, I think, uh, in these videos. But anyway, minus 33 comes down. So now I ask the question, okay, what times 7x gives me a negative 42x? And that's just a minus 6. So minus 6 times 7x is a negative 42x. Minus 6 times 7 is just a minus 42. But now I need to subtract the two. Okay, subtract them. That eliminates, right, negative 42x minus a negative 42x is adding a positive 0. Negative 33 minus a negative 42 is adding a positive 42. And that comes out to be a positive 9. So our remainder is 9, so we're pretty much done here. We write my 6x minus 6, 6x minus 6, plus my remainder 9 over my divisor, which is 7x plus 7, and that is our final answer. So let's recap. We're given 42x squared minus 33 divided by 7x plus 7. When we divide it, I have my divisor here, goes in my dividend, and when I space up my div dividend, first I left a space there to kind of see what you can do, but then it's like, well, it does look easier, it's kind of easier to subtract and add and stuff. We have a 0x place value there, but you can either leave a space, some people do, or you can put a space, uh, value there with 0x, because 0 times x is just 0. Okay? We said, okay, what times 7x gives me 42x squared? That's 6x. So I multiply the both parts here, then I subtracted them, giving me a negative 42x left here, and I brought down the minus 33. Same question. What times 7x gives me a negative 42x? And that's a minus 6. So minus 6 times 7x is that a minus 42x. And minus 6 times 7 is minus 42. Subtract the 2. Make sure that subtraction sign, we put parentheses to be distributed that, and we should get a positive 9. So we have a positive 9 down there. Great. That's our remainder. And so our final answer here is just 6x minus 6 plus my remainder 9 over my divisor, which is 7x plus 7.